Hey guys, Mitchell here, and I'm going to be taking a quick look at Amplitude for the PlayStation 4. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Amplitude, this is kind of the game, or it's one of the games, I would say, one of the two games that initially put harmonics on the map. Now, you may know harmonics as the Guitar Hero and Rock Band developers, but before they got into the the plastic instrument uh, age, or they before they, they ushered in the plastic instrument age, they, uh, they had a pair of rhythm games for the PlayStation 1 that were two of the best rhythm games at the time, really. Um, and those were Frequency and Amplitude. And recently, uh, probably about maybe two years ago, uh, Harmonix started a Kickstarter to bring Amplitude back. And here we are, 2016, Amplitude is finally available, and I'm excited to show it off to you. So let's go into, uh, there's, there's a campaign in Quick Play. Campaign is basically, it's 15, 15 songs, uh, given to you as kind of like a gauntlet. Uh, you have to get a certain number of, of stars, let's say, on each song in order to unlock the bonus songs of each little part. And there's a little bit of a story, not really much. Uh, let's, let's jump into Quick Play, though, because once you get into campaign, you can't really, you know, pick the songs that you want to do. So, the song list it's, there's not that many songs in this game. Uh, this is pretty much it. Um, but, and like, it's, it's a, basically it's a sign of the, the budget that, that Harmonix had to work with with this game. And there's not really very many licensed songs. So it's, but at the same time, that kind of lends a, a, a different style of cred to it. It's, it's all very high quality electronic music. And there's a couple of neat surprises in here. Like, for example, you may recognize this one. This is the song from uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer, World 1, basically. And you know what? I'm going to play it because I love this song. Alright, so we're going to do a huge mistake and try to uh, explain this game while actually playing, which is not easy to do because this game requires 100% concentration all the time. So, as you can see, this game is all about switching between various tracks and basically playing all the beats so and each track has a, uh, a different instrument that you're playing so right now I'm playing synth now I'm on drums and these little gems will give me a power-up that I can use we'll use it right there ba -ba -ba. and basically you only get points if you complete the sequence perfectly so you see I'm basically getting points uh, according to my multiplier every time I hit a note I get four points and I only get all those points if I complete the sequence let's do vocals and the challenge is being able to see on the next track what note is coming up so that when you switch to it you're able to immediately go into that track so right now I see that drums has a left button there you go I can also slow things down with this power up All right, we're doing pretty good. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, that's that's probably the my main flaw with this game, and maybe it's a problem with me, but I feel like it is really hard sometimes. To, hold on. <laughs> uh... Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, so I think that it's really hard sometimes to be able to see in your peripheral vision what's coming up because it's so far away. And maybe it's it's my my fault for not planning my my uh, track switches well enough. Oh, I missed it! The damn offbeats. Oh. My other problem with this game, and uh, pretty kind of a minor problem, but the R2 button, which is the, the default button for hitting the the right notes. It's it's really the right the right control scheme 
Uh, so, for those that don't know, the way this game is played is R L L1 uh, controls the left blaster, uh, R1 is the middle blaster, and R2 is the, uh, the right blaster. And a couple of issues with this being on PlayStation 4. First of all, the R2 button is not- oh god, hold on, I need to shut up. Oh no! Well, we made it to the end. At least there's that. Uh, so, the R2 button is, is not really meant to be pressed multiple times in succession on the, the PlayStation 4. It's, it's a trigger. Um, so that's kind of a little, it's a little bit awkward to be honest. The other problem is that the R1 button is not immediately, uh, it's not really intuitive to, to, to associate a middle, a middle button on a track with the R1 button. You know, in a perfect world, there would be like the Z button on the, the back of the N64 controller to hit that. So that's, that's a little bit, a little bit weird, but you get used to it. This is cool. It's a song by Insomniac Games, and I haven't played it yet, so let's do it. Alright, let's... What is this song? This is not... This, this is probably the most, uh... Unique song I've heard in this game, because most of the songs are, are very electronic and bass. This is an actual rock song, it sounds like. And it's by Insomniac Games, so keep that in mind. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh my god, they're talking about the history of, of Insomniac! I want to shut up because I want to hear the actual words of the song. See the blood, the sweat, the tears. We're making your game. We're making your game. Killed by dying cows. Hold up, Ted, that's in the past. I'm a gas at the fast, like a lady with a mask. But now is now when we move fast. Always go forward, we build to last. No field to pass, so we keep it rock. Kill it daily, dogs are lost. I'm in the A's for what you saw. <laughs> Like Socrates, can allow but please let's light the fire. And if it's more kings, the squad, medical division, and retire, even LTD of the city style. Gotta still go and drunk, no addition, still be breaking. Let's small commission on top of that. Let's fully stop kitchen. Let's pop that set straight. Now we switch it back to the start. We do it all for it's the main part of who we are. Fans are the heart. Close mind and body, that's straight to God. So we're doing it. That was interesting. <laughs> 
What was that song? Did they just make that song for for Amplitude, or is that song gonna appear in one of uh, Insomniac's games, celebrating their 20th anniversary? That's kind of neat. All right, uh, let's do one more song. So the last song I think we should do is, I mean, if it, we gotta show off the freeze pop song, right? All right, I'm just gonna stay completely quiet for this one, so you guys can really get a feel for. Uh, for what happens in this game. Oh man, should I show Expert? Uh, no, no. We'll, we'll, I'll show Expert in, in the fade out.
The music turns up to a deafening roar. I try to escape, but the room has no doors. I know I play. Shattered, but everyone cheers. Glass and disaster. What's happening here? Energy restored. Energy restored. That was a pretty good run. All right, guys. Well, that is Amplitude. Uh, so this game is available right now on PlayStation Network. Uh, I believe it's available on both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's for sure available on the PlayStation 4. And if you are into this kind of music, and if you're into rhythm games, I highly recommend uh, checking this game out. It, it There is a bit of a concern of a, a lack of... A lack of content but at the same time this is only $20 um, whether I mean you can basically see whether or not you feel like you'll get your money's worth if, if, the, if you're the kind of person who enjoys rhythm games and uh, you're okay with the number of songs that I'm showing you guys uh, yeah I, I recommend checking this game out I'm gonna show you guys uh, how how crazy this game can get on expert uh, we're gonna play Dalatect on expert right now and uh, You'll see me die very, very quickly. So I'll just leave you with that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.